My name is Santiago Cueto. I am the country director for Young Lives in uh, Peru. We're trying to uh, develop further knowledge on topics related to uh, growing up in poverty, but also we are trying to influence policy making in each of the Young Lives countries as well as internationally. Sustainable Development Goals have been launched recently and we're aiming to have an influence as well as we had on the uh, Millennium Development Goals during the past 15 years. For the specific case of Peru, we have done very well in terms, for example, of access to basic services such as education and even in some indicators related to health and nutrition and of course to reduction of poverty. Around 20-25 years ago, 50% of the population lived in poverty and nowadays it's about 20%. But uh, now the new challenges are related to trying to improve the quality of the services, especially for the poor. What we have tried throughout lots of the, of the studies is to understand how is it that children of specific groups suffer disadvantages in the environment in which they grow. Growing up uh, in poverty is limiting condition for many uh, aspects of, of growing and developing, but there are also related characteristics of the family. For example, in the case of Peru, if you grow in an indigenous family, then chances are services are not going to be of high quality. If you grow up in a rural area, or if the mother of the family has uh, less than complete primary education. And of course, many times these uh, uh, characteristics combine. So this makes uh, this group that has one or more of these characteristics uh, an important target group for uh, policy making and for investment. Through the data, the research, the uh, implications that we can find, we can try to influence that uh, investment in, in children who are at risk of uh, not developing their full potential can, can reach that uh, target over the years. So hopefully we will get there eventually and, and grow in a more fair way as a country.